Hi, this is Casey Glass for Worship Synths, <clears throat> and I uh, have a quick tutorial on getting a piano sound like Coldplay's uh, Magic Piano. So Coldplay's new single is out, Magic. The piano is kind of cool in that it's this weirdly delayed piano, and really we can accomplish all of that with um, a reverb and adjusting the pre-delay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to be doing this entirely in Logic with uh, Logic Core Instruments, so you won't need any third-party stuff. And just give you an idea what it sounds like. Uh, apologize for the sloppy timing. I was having a conversation with someone when I recorded it, so. So you get an idea of what it sounds like there. And when you're listening to the actual track, um, it, it always sounds like the piano is coming a little bit uh, after the beat. It's just just enough off the beat that it's noticeable. And so the challenge is how, how to pull that off because I'm quite certain that um, it's being played on the beat. It's just um, being delayed to just after the beat. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and reset this channel strip here so that now we have nothing. Oh, wait. That's something old. Let me mute my other tracks. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and pull in the grand piano here. We're going to use... Uh, do, 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 do. There we go, sorry. Classical piano, that's a Bosendorfer. So we're going to use that. And if we want, we can go ahead and narrow down the dynamic range of this patch. So in this case, the volumes that you're going to get out of the different key velocities are going to fall into the top two or top third of the dynamic range of the patch. So that'll be one way to kind of compress the dynamic range. Um, so let's see what that sounds like. So that's kind of not very interesting. So the first thing, a lot of these kind of piano effect type patches have a fairly considerable amount of compression on them. So we're going to use kind of the regular compressor. We're going to have it on the platinum setting. We want to compress pretty early. In other words, we want to try to smoosh the dynamic range of this track uh, a lot and get the attack of that piano sound. And then we want the release to be a little bit long because we want it, the tail to kind of, um, well, actually we want it to be, eh, we'll let it be on auto. We want the tail to kind of bloom. So we want the, the, the harmonics at the end of the, the piano to bloom and head into the reverb and give us some reverb there too. So we're going to do a moderate amount of compression. So let's take it up to about five. And we're going to have it kick in kind of softly. So a knee of zero is real sharp change and then a knee of one is pretty soft. So we're going to do that. And then we just need to fuss with it. So you can hear the end of the, the sustain of the piano kind of and that might be a little bit too much, so we're going to raise the threshold a bit. But also, we want it to be on peak, not RMS. So essentially what we're trying to do is to even the attack volume and the sustain volume out a little bit. So we're going to crush the attack a little bit so that the sustain can be a little bit louder in terms of the ratio. Then we'll use some makeup gain to get the overall volume of the patch back up a little bit. And I think that's alright. So you can play with this until you, you get something that you like. 
Also, this would be a chance to do parallel compression, which I'm not going to get into to kind of get both the attack and sustain kind of even. We're just going to keep it easy this time and go with straight compression. So we've got that. And now really this patch entirely happens otherwise with reverb. And um, normally I'm a big fan of silver verb. Uh, it's kind of a classic 70-ish, 70s reverb. In this case we're going to go with platinum verb because we need a couple of the controls that are there. So uh, again let's kind of run this so we can hear what we get. So this is only, you know, about 60% wet, really. So if we kind of even it out. So you can hear we've got some reverb going out. All right, so well, a couple things we want to do here. We want the reverb itself to start right away. So we're going to take the initial delay for the reverb down to zero. And actually that kind of echoey sound happens with the pre-delay. And for this patch, we, we need it to probably be somewhere between 80 and 160 milliseconds, and you're just going to have to kind of play with it to get kind of what you want. Uh, you can change the room size, whatever you kind of like. And let's kind of see what that sounds like. Take the wet up. This dry is going to be that initial attack piano sound. I'm going to turn that off so you can just hear what the reverb is doing all by itself. So you notice now you don't hear that double hit, that delay hit, because the dry signal is not coming through at all. So we need a little bit of that. so that you can tell that it's coming after the beat. Yeah, maybe strip like that. And then we could change the amount of that early reflection hit versus the reverb with the balance slider here. Way we just hear the early refresh. It's not fun. And the track is just moderately dark. There's not a lot of high end to this. That sounds good. The reverb time's about right, it's somewhere around three seconds. You don't want it to be too long because it's going to start to get sloppy. Here's what would happen if we lengthened out the initial reverb delay. You can hear the reverb pop in there after. So I don't really want that. And then from there, you just got to kind of mess with the settings till you get something that you like. Again, if you've watched my clips, you know that I'm not a big fan of clinically um, cloning patches. I, I like to kind of learn how to do it and get something close, and then you can kind of work with it to get closer if you like. The only thing that I've noticed in uh, the patches I've created, both with the Logic pianos and also some of my own pianos, uh, I have a couple of other ones, is that there is kind of a ringing there around maybe 700 hertz that I don't like so we can always add a little EQ and the channel EQ is a good one and then kind of take that out a little bit and see if we can clean that up we're going to want to put that in first so that those frequencies whoops, are not stop it are not uh, triggering the compressor. 
So let's see if we can tune that out. Yeah, that was just right. And there's kind of an annoying ring that is now gone. Turn the compressor off. You can hear what it sounds like without that. There you go. Give it a try. Thanks for watching.